It's 1803 and President Thomas Jefferson is looking to expand the United States economy by acquiring a strategic settlement from a foreign country. To accomplish this, he's tasked James Monroe and Robert R. Livingston, not seen here and we'll assume he's in the bathroom for this skit, to meet with real estate agent Sue Casa and pick out the perfect location. Monroe has already seen the Canadian city of Quebec. You know, it was nice and all, but oh my gosh, it was so cold. And plus, I don't think the St. Lawrence River is the river that Jefferson's really concerned with. And uh, at the risk of sounding like a war hawk, if America wants land in Canada, we're not going to have to buy it, am I right? <laughs> Next, Monroe took a look at Spanish-controlled St. Augustine. While I do like the fact that it is the oldest continuously occupied European settlement in this part of the world, it does show its age. I mean, it's constantly in conflict with the natives and it's a little Spanish. No, not, not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm not prejudiced. It's just my boss. He's a bit of a francophile. So Sue Casa is meeting with Monroe to show one more property that she thinks will hit the mark. <laughs> Of its location. If you look to the north, it's the Mississippi River as far as the eye can see. To the south is the Gulf of Mexico. This would be a really good spot to expand trade. You said it. Everything goes in and out through this port. But isn't this city owned by the Spanish? Well, it's not widely known, but the Spanish lost ownership of Louisiana during the Third Treaty of Il Infanzo. So who owns it now? The French. The French? Jefferson is going to love that! Yeah! And at one point, Napoleon wanted to use this as a launching point to take over your entire country! <laughs> anyway, with the slave revolts in San Domingue, Napoleon is ready to abandon that plan and flip this place for a tidy profit. Well, it looks great. What's the price? Between actual cash and cancellation of French debt, this place goes for 15 million dollars. Oh, that's pretty high. Our ceiling is 10 mil tops. Well, there is one more thing. The property does come with a yard. Really? How big? 500 acres? 1,000 acres? Oh, um, 530 million acres. 530 million? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, pretty much everything from the Mississippi River to the Rocky Mountains. <laughs> Half a billion acres? I hope you have a lawnmower. <laughs> Can you excuse me? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. One second, please. Just, 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 just uh, yes, Tommy? Yeah, it's Jimmy. Oh, no, things are going well. Um, they offered to sell us New Orleans for uh, 15 million. Yes, I know, but they're offering to double the size of our country. Yes, yes, I know this would be the federal government overstepping its authority. And yes, it might be unconstitutional, but don't you have the power to negotiate treaties? Okay, Tommy. Remember how you were worried that people were saying that you peaked with the drafting of the Declaration of Independence? That's what I thought. We'll take it. Which way to Bourbon Street? Ooh!